Off the mark, batted around. Romero gets it again. And how about Wilson? Sends it back. Wilson with the basket and a three-point opportunity, and that is going to be the challenge all day. Sonora Danuka was the MVP of the Big South Tournament. Davis comes right back, or Wilson rather, and gets the roll. Because they've dealt with some adversity this season, they were without Wilson for a time. Great catch and scored by Wilson there, but they were out. You are looking at, I would say, one of the best coaching jobs that we've ever seen from Gino Oriyama. He's now got arguably three All-Americans on his team. Good score there by Asia Wilson, but... First time a freshman has started at point guard for the Hall of Fame point guard, Dawn Staley. Excellent high-low pass by Gray and putting it in, Asia Wilson. So it was emotional. Brenda Mocker Patrick just talked about the mental aspect of that. Good put back there by Asia Wilson. But obviously she was able to motivate her team to go on that run. I mean, to win four games in four days as a seven seed, two wins by one point in the semifinals and championship. Yeah. Here's Asia Wilson. And the two-time SEC Player of the Year. Too much to handle on the low block that time. And they've had a couple of disappointing finishes in the tournament. Just one final four to show for it as Wilson misses, but does not on the second try. And then gets right into the high post. Goes right at the defender and kisses it home off glass. Wilson got good position. The little rhythm bounce and banks it home. South Carolina has to step up their intensity to match what Arizona State is doing. Deep catch there off the inbound pass to Wilson, and she puts it in. Not going to let anybody out tough their team, and Wilson got it in a basket plus the foul, and if that is on Dornstadter, that's four. Bruner rejected by Wilson. Bruner gets it back. Oh, gets it punched right back in her face. Shot clock at 15. No oh, he looked like maybe she had an angle. Wilson, no, got it back, goes up, and puts it in. South Carolina leads now. Especially with 2.1. Bruner gets it away for three. No good! And South Carolina's going back to the Sweet 16. Two from three-point land, it's perfect 13 to 13 at the free throw line. Wilson with the steal, an easy two on the other end. How about your 6-5 post players shooting the gap on defense? And there she is again, breaking up the pass and getting the steal. Wilson gets it ahead, beautifully done by Asia Wilson. And all the things that they would do to build the strength and athletic ability of Wilson. She used to have to wear a weighted vest. You give her a weighted ball to use. And she developed rather under the radar. I mean, In the final four last year, another turnover by Quinnipiac. Numbers here. Wilson, the trailer, goes to her offhand, the right hand, to get the layup. Big, strong, powerful facts. For Quinnipiac early in this third quarter. They had some foul trouble, so now they've got players that can play free defensively. Asia Wilson with a good score there. When they needed a rally cry against Arizona State, she not only was the leader with her shot blocking, as we saw right there, but even verbally just bringing some calm to her team. And that's usually something you see a guard do. Quinnipiac goes to, they're going to try to force some turnovers, maybe force South Carolina to play fast, but what a good move there by Wilson. For South Carolina, uh, to be a team that challenges Connecticut, because we were talking about this last week as Wilson scores. The bigger defender for South Carolina, just a really solid player. I love her toughness on the, on the glass as well. The complimentary players that have stepped up since the land coach went out, Kayla Davis and Alicia Gray what Ivy Slaughter brought to the floor that second half against Oregon State because she did so many things that don't show up on the stat sheet. And Entry pass, they double Wilson immediately. And how about that power move by Wilson? And then a steal on the inbounds pass, and Thomas makes it worse by committing a foul. Started a freshman at the point. Shot clock at five. Wilson normally doesn't shoot it from that far out, but she nails it. 5'11", and she can dunk. 
Enough said. Another power move by Wilson, and they just can't handle it right now. Yeah. And you get leave Wilson wide open underneath throughout this game for South Carolina. Missed only one shot. She's five of six from the floor, and Wilson is still out there playing with four fouls. Down five points, 30 seconds to go. Brown driving, and it's blocked by Wilson. They need this. Romero off the mark, batted around. Romero gets it again, and how about Wilson? Sends it back. Men's team is the seven seed, advances to the final four. The women's team about to get there for the second time in three years. South Carolina to the final four, 71-64. The Gamecocks beat Florida State. She had the block shot that sealed the deal at the end of the Notre Dame win in the regional final. John Staley said they had an opportunity to start the evolution of it when Asia Wilson was hurt for a stretch. Well, it's a giant loss for the Cardinal as well as they're playing right now. Davis can't hit it. Wilson with another rebound to her left. Undeniable. I mean, Davis off the fake. Got it up there. She continues to be cold. She was two for eight at halftime. Wilson always there on the spot, though. Chris Smith again, yes. How about Wilson? Right there to recover. And South Carolina switches into his own on this possession, and Asia twice on the pipes. I think the effort is certainly worthy of a national semifinal. Clean block shot by Smith, right back up and in. Asia, Asia Wilson playing with those six stitches above the eye. Wilson again, tiptoeing in. Well, the Gamecocks are going to march to the national championship game as they knocked off Stanford. 62 to 53. And the great year of living in South Carolina continues. Well, the Bulldogs sharp at the outset. Wilson's first one. Yes, all net. Wilson trying to back inside. That's heavy traffic. Made it anyway. Uh, what a play. Mississippi State had gone a long time in between baskets, almost five minutes. Asia Wilson jumping inside. Too tough to stop that. Shot clock at five. Chapel got to get a shot up inside. Great defense by Wilson. Shot clock violation. The kick for Wilson. No. Right back up. Yes. Chapel over the top. McCowan blocked by Wilson. But Chapel got it back. Gray stopped on the baseline. Needs help. Wilson on McCowan. Yes. Up and over. McCowan got to it on the baseline. That's a great pass to get it to Richardson. Wilson with a block. And she kept it in play. And frankly, I thought it would be easier. They only had one losing season. Nice drive by Asia, getting a step closer. She was directing traffic, calling out plays. Just a true, true hoop head. Blocked once again by Wilson. Swing for Harris. She won't shoot the three. Wilson again, powering in for two. That kid is her first team All-American. After her incredible performance so far in this tournament, here's Gray. Around and out. Guess wow. who with the rebound? Right back up. Wow. A spectacular performance. And South Carolina has won the national championship. Asia, as you stepped off the court, the tears had already started. What was the hardest part of what you just accomplished, young lady? I mean, just overcoming adversity. This team has played with so much heart. Just so much, we face so much adversity, and just, just, I can't even put into words the feeling that I've had and what we've been through, and just to finally, I finally achieve a huge goal of all of ours is just amazing feeling. And I just want to thank God, and I just want to thank my parents and our coaching staff. What was the hardest adversity that you got through as a team this year? Um, I mean, it's tough losing a great player like Elena Coates. Um, it really is tough, and she was a big part of us. And when she went down, a lot of people probably said we couldn't do it. 
and that's hard on the college kids. That is hard, but we overcame it, and now we're national champions. <laughs>